6.30 class done. I'm not sleeping great this week because it's quite warm and it's bright out and I find it difficult to get into bed really early. So I'm a little bit tired this week. Sleep affects absolutely everything. Um, so class done, got about an hour or so worth of work, uh, email and online clients, doing stuff like that. I'm gonna get some breakfast, then 10 o'clock class, then my own training. So lots to do, let's go. Work, 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 work. She said I gotta work, 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 work. She see me do my da, 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 da. One thing I love about my new phone is I can do almost all of my work from my phone. So I don't have to wait for the laptop to load up. I don't have to do any of that. I can contact all my online clients straight through here. Technology. Breakfast time. So I got a pot of quick oats, some blueberry yogurt, and a square dark chocolate. Monster essential. So busy morning so far. Got the class done and did some work. Got some reading done. I'm starting to do my reading. I have to do it before lunchtime because if I put the longer I put it off, if I leave it till later in the day, I'm just too tired and not bothered and I just won't do it. I'll end up doing something else. Also, I tend to eat smaller during the day and bigger meals in the evening um, just because I find that suits me better both physically and mentally. It doesn't matter how many meals a day you eat or whether you eat light in the morning, heavy in the morning, light in the evening, it doesn't matter. Pick whatever amount of meals suits your schedule and allows you to stay on track and not go on binges. And as long as your total food that you consume throughout the day the total amount of food is the right amount, you'll make progress. That's it. So class done, gotta run some errands. My breakfast went horribly wrong. Um, I put too much water in the oats because I wasn't paying attention and it was too watery. And I thought I'll put some protein powder in because that'll soak up the water and it just didn't mix and I ended up fucking it in the bin. <laughs> so now I'm really hungry. Gotta go to the bank, gotta get some food, gotta come back. Uh, while I was in class, had two new online clients sign up, so gotta get them set up and going as soon as possible. Then I gotta get my own training in, school run, and just lots and lots of shit to do. So yeah, let's go. Training today was a rough one. It started off with some on the minute handstand push-ups. So start a clock on the first minute, two to three one facing handstand push-ups, really good for improving your handstand line and your technique. They're a bit much tougher than normal ones. And on the second minute, do normal handstand push-ups, so facing away from the wall. And it was just one of them days where even two to three reps felt like a grind, um, whether I was wall facing or facing away. So I just focused on technique rather than trying to get in as many reps as I can. Because it was just one of those days where I didn't have any power whatsoever. I just didn't feel it. Next up was five sets of ten ring dips. So the five, the ten reps were actually easy. But for some reason my balance was all over the place as you'll see in some of the reps i'm kind of swinging forward and back um, just my position wasn't tight enough but the actual reps five sets of ten felt really easy um, so that's one positive that came from the training session next up was sets of 20 chest flies with only 30 seconds rest between and just using fours you see people use a lot heavier weight but a lot of the time they're not really concentrating on activating and using the chest they're using their arms as well um, sometimes it's good to overload but here I just kept it light because the rest was short and focused on using my chest. These are just some rear delt flies and um, to really focus on pinching the shoulders back I did 6 sets of 15. Once I finished the 6 sets I literally called it a day um, just because I felt burnt and I didn't want to push it or force it. This is just a chest stretch I always finish with and um, you might have to adjust the position of your arm. Training done, about to go on a school run and it was honestly just the shittiest workout ever. Some days you just get like that and it makes sense because I haven't been sleeping great all week. Um, and everything felt difficult, I felt like I had no energy, I wouldn't mind it felt good going in. Warm up felt okay and then first exercise was handstand push ups and I think I, did, I was doing sets of two or three and god they felt like a grind. Um, so I knew it wasn't going to be good from that, did a couple other things and then just pulled the plug. Um, you don't need to force yourself or beat yourself into the ground all the time. Um, so I just pulled the plug on that one a little bit early. I might try and do a little something later at home. I'll see how I feel. If I still don't feel great, I'll just leave it till tomorrow and keep the nutrition on track and it'll be all good. Just home, quick pit stop in Little to get some supplies, but I've only got two and a half days left before holidays, so I didn't pick up too much. I feel actually okay now. 
Um, I'm gonna have some food, which is gonna be just some tuna and oat cakes and a hug shake. Hoping that will pick me back up. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of work uh, and maybe a workout later, we'll see how I feel. Okay guys, so got some food, did some work. I'm feeling much better now. So I'm gonna get a little bit of work of a workout in. I'm gonna do some rowing, some kettlebell swings and some side plank lifts but it's starting to drizzle. So I have to stay underneath this door. Then I'll pop out, do my swings, my side plank lifts, and jump back in under. Hopefully the rain holds off. Father, could you please send me something to wish on? Or at least tell these demons on my back to just get gone. I know that I'm the shit, but I'm still getting pissed on. I'm talking, but nobody's understanding me, Miss Swan. Looking like a man, but I feel like a boy. Try to do what I can, but I'm feeling destroyed. I just want to raise the roof and leave the ceiling destroyed. But every time I spit the truth, there's nothing filling the void. So I look to the light of the stars. Like, Lord, could you please show me that you ain't far? I'm a nice guy. I hope I don't finish last. No, fuck that. I'm a rocket and I'm built to blast so I stay focused like the camera lenses and I stay humble never act pretentious cause if I had a wish that the heavens sent me it would be simply that you don't forget done it was nothing crazy I wasn't I was feeling good but not like incredibly good so I just did easy pace just to get something in just tidying up the rower now gonna go in and get a lot a lot a lot of food the battery is about to die so I gotta charge this up so I can finish the vlog real quick so guys, this is the perfect example of me being tired and not really feeling it today. And when I came in from the workout, all I really want is a jar of Nutella. I don't know why, but luckily I had all this food cooked from yesterday. Anytime I'm cooking baby potatoes, I just cook a whole bag and whatever's left over, I keep. This chicken I cooked yesterday um, and these veggies are just straight in the bag. So literally less than two minutes and this thing is ready. The potatoes won't fit on the plate. So I'm gonna have this, I'm gonna have a shower, I'm gonna do some reading. And I'm literally going to fall into it. So I want to talk about this idea called the golden circle. It's from a guy called Simon Sinek in his amazing book that I'm reading. And the second I saw it and read it, I knew that this is exactly like people trying to get results. So the golden circle, and if I can figure out some fancy editing way to flash an image of this up on the screen, then I will do that. When people are trying to get results, they always start with what? The what is you want to lose a stone, or you want to get a six pack, or you want to fit into a certain dress size, or jean size, or whatever. The how is how you get there. So the steps you take, whether it's workouts, nutrition, supplements, whatever it is. And the why is why you're doing it. Um, and when you start with what and work into why, um, you're more likely to be derailed. Your chances of success are diminished greatly. Um, anything like someone invites you out for drinks or people like shove sweets in front of you, whatever it is, is going to derail you because you started with what. But when you start with why, and I don't mean a soft ass why, like you want to lose a little bit of weight or whatever it is, you need to sit down and think about this and write it down. Um, anyone, all the most successful people in the world, one of the big things they do is write shit down. So your why, I keep saying it in all of these vlogs, needs to come from a place of pain. So you need to think about why you hate the sight of your own body in the mirror and you wish you had a nicer body, or how you're always stressed all the time, or exhausted, or you want a bit more confidence, um, or you just want to be a happier person, you want to feel good when you're going out. Um, Ladies, you want to look good and feel comfortable in the clothes you're wearing or when you go shopping and try them on. Guys, you want to feel good in the t-shirt and the jeans. You want to wear that tight t-shirt. Um, when you start with why and when it comes from a place of pain, you will always be more successful. An example is me. So my why in terms of the vlogs, social media, why I do my job is because I want to help people. That's it. And it doesn't matter whether I go on to become a millionaire or whether I was getting paid fucking 100 euro a week. I would still do this job because I want to help people. And that's my drive. That's my focus. That's what's always all the decisions I make come back to that. And for you, 
the how, like how to get there. When you're doing those things, when you're trying to get there, if your why is strong enough, when temptation comes along, it will, it will save you. It will keep you on the straight and narrow once you focus on that. But if you start with what and work your way in, you will easily get derailed. So something really important to think about, you need to start with why.